Hello, my lovelies. We're back again. It's dinner time. Like I said before, um, this is Good Friday, so I'm going to be making two separate meals. This is my next meal. Um, I had to switch up my menu because I almost made pork today. I completely forgot it was Good Friday. So, shame on me. So, I am grilling some chicken for half of the family that does not eat seafood. And for the rest of the half, I'll be making um, uh, linguine with white clam sauce and shrimp today. So, I have here about 15 ounces of white clam sauce that I'm going to put in my pan, my enamel cast iron pan. And with this, I'm going to doctor this. So, in the meantime, I'm going to also pour a pot of water to boil for my linguine. So, while my pot is filling up, I'm going to make my clam sauce. Now, here in this little ramekin, I'm going to put the juice of this other can of chopped clams and put this here in my pan as well. Nope, I can't open this. Okay, here we go. And this is just extra clam that I like to put in. My hands are clean, so no worries there. I have my pot of water here that I'm going to start to heat up. Now, with my pot of clam sauce, I'm putting this aside. I have my shrimp here that I'm going to take a couple out, clean them, take the shells out, and put them in a little later. So right now, I'm going to cut up an onion. And this is relatively simple. It doesn't take too long nice little dinner for those that do like um, seafood with linguine. So we're just going to chop this up finely. my stove is acting up so I just want to make sure no it's not heating up oh I'm lying it is my stove is fine thank goodness so we're going to continue to dice up our onions and dice them very finely and we're going to add this to 
to our pan. I hope you guys have been enjoying your day. We have, my kids are off from school, not work, and they've been just enjoying and doing nothing. Playing games and just enjoying the week and doing nothing. Because usually during the school year, we have a very hectic school year. Lots of events and activities that they're in. So when they get their week off, we usually just stay home. We plan our vacations in the summer. So, I'm just going to stop and flip my chicken over. Like I said, it's Good Friday, and I'm making two separate meals. This household, some of us eat seafood, and some of us don't. So, I'm also going to add um, some garlic. I should have taken this out before. If you have fresh garlic, you can put fresh garlic in. I really see no difference here. I like to put a heaping amount of garlic in my food. But when I don't have fresh garlic, I use the minced garlic already um, in the container, in the jar. So to this, because I am a Hispanic, I'm going to add just a little adobo. And some pepper. Let's turn on the fan for that. And I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. basil. Now we're going to let that cook for a little bit. I also like to fill in a little bit of butter just to make it nice and smooth and velvety. So that's about half a stick of butter. So we're going to lower that because you want this to simmer. You don't want because most of the ingredients are already uh, cooked. So you just want to simmer this so that all the rest of the ingredients can fuse with the clam and the clam sauce. Now, I'm going to take some of my shrimp 
I'm going to lower my pot a little bit. I'm going to take some of my shrimp here so I can clean them and wash them. So, these already have been um, cleaned and deveined. De Divined. <laughs> Deveined. So I'm just going to take the tail end apart. And then I'm going to rinse them. If they have any left over pieces on them. So we're not going to go crazy and put too many shrimp here because it's only two, three of us that are going to eat this. So. And once you do that, You're just going to rinse them and put them in. So I hope you're enjoying all these meals that I'm doing for you guys. you guys are learning and, and adding to this. Maybe you have a better way of making this. All in all, I hope you enjoy doing what you do. For me, I enjoy cooking for my family. So, I hope you have the same joy as I do. So this is simmering nicely, so I'm going to put this in. I already rinsed this, so you want to just put them in slowly. It's okay if you put a little water in there because with this clam juice that I've reserved on the side, I'm going to make a slurry with some cornstarch. So we'll cook this for a couple of minutes and then I'll come back and show you uh, the mixture of slurry that I'm going to make and to put it in. So stay tuned, come back. <laughs> 